awful. That's the second time someone's asked me that. Um, yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> he um, he put in that it wasn't in the script, so um... <laughs> no, it was he decided to do the Victorian kiss, and then I obviously Jenny slaps him, so um, that was funner really. <laughs> but I did slap him a bit too hard, but you know we had to do that take quite a lot of times. So, <laughs> so this is the Victorian kiss because it happens to me a lot when I kiss people. They slap me yeah. as well. That's well, cool. watch out. The, f the 50th? Yeah. Uh, I'm not in that, but... <laughs> I wish I was. Um, do you want to go first, Steve? Favourite line, favourite scene, and 50th anniversary? <laughs> well, my favourite line has got to be KBO. Keep buggering on. <laughs> my favourite scene was when, uh, when uh, Matt attacked the... Uh, Dalek in my episode, uh, because he was given two implements. He was given a ratchet spanner, a real one, which made a hell of a clanging sound when it hit the Dalek, and a rubber one, which he was meant to attack it really hard with. And he got them mixed up. <laughs> I mean, I've been lactating milk for several years. This country is now property of the Sultan Empire. Surrender your women and intellectuals. Um, we don't see him much. Yeah. <laughs> what I will say about Stephen Moffat, I, mean, I can't remember which episode it was, but there was one episode when we did the read through. He gave us all individually 10 minutes chat. He walked around the table and he spoke to everybody and gave us all a 10 minute chat. And when you consider he's the, you know, he's the chief executive as well as the senior writer and he's doing Sherlock and he's doing everything else, he's probably advising the Prime Minister as well. It's the fact that he found time to give us time uh, uh, really shows the quality of the man and is really why we have this feeling that everything is a family. He's a very busy man, but incredibly his mind works in yeah. amazing ways. Um, now and again he'll come down to set to see how it's all going. And me and Dan were talking about this the other day, that he kind of comes down and then you see him kind of go, oh God, like, because, you know, he, this is all his doing. And if it's going well, then great, but I think he just goes back to his office and, oh, you know, he's got so much to write, so, um, yeah. Yeah. Being reminded of the reality of it sometimes, it's like, oh, God, I actually made all this. But uh, once or twice I've been so like, in, in costume and just talking to him like this, rather than distract. And so, no, I'm sorry, I can't handle it. <laughs> because, you know, he's, he's, sorry, he can talk to me when I'm like, out, of, out of makeup. And if I'm in makeup, then I talk like this and it's fine. But clearly, mixing the two, that's just, that just doesn't confuse. <laughs> he's, uh, he's extremely handsome. He's very good looking. He's very intelligent. He's very bright. He's very good with his family. He's very good to his wife, he's very good to his grandmother. And he's, a, he's I think he's one of the nicest, kindest people I've ever met in my life. And he could possibly give me a job.